given a piecewise function g defined by for x less than 1, it will be x exponent x squared, x more than 1, ln x squared over x. We have to evaluate the integration for the gx from value negative 1 until 3. When we're getting a piecewise function, we have to draw out the interval. State out the function regarding for this interval where less than 1, we know it will be the function of x exponent x squared. When x more than 1, it will be due with ln x squared over x. So when we want to integrate from negative 3, from negative 1 to 3 for this function, we can see it clearly. Actually, it will start from negative 1 until 1 only, which is for the function x exponential x squared continue from 1 up to 3 it will be ln x squared for x respect to x so to integrate this both function we can use our formula as we can see e to the power of x squared where our formula that we have here when we integrate e to the power of x squared we find it is it having the pattern of differential function at the side here? If yes, then we can integrate directly to get this formula e to the fx plus c. So another formula that we can see here will be our giant function formula where we have a function to the power and then if we have a differential function at the side, so this function can be power plus 1 over new power so we can integrate them directly using formula. So we have to check out the, the pattern first. For the exponential power function is x squared. If we differentiate it, our differential function is supposed to be 2x. So we have that function, but we don't have the coefficient. So after this, we will modify it, modify the 2. So in other words here, our function that had power is ln x. When we differentiate it respect to x, we get 1 over x. So actually this integration of this function also having the pattern of this. So let us modify for the first function where we are going to multiply 2 and divide 2 so that we can get this 2x as the differential function and we can fulfill this pattern efx this is the fx so we can integrate it directly to get efx so for the second function i will rewrite it so that you can see it clearly so this is a function that the power of 2 and then it multiplied by 1 over x. So that's why the ln x will be at the numerator part. So it means here we separate this one ln x squared multiplied by 1 over x. So we can see it clearly. This is our fx to the power of n. At the side here, we have a differential 1 over x. So if we fulfill this pattern, we can integrate directly just power plus 1 over new power. So now we're using the, our formula to integrate. Here we will get strictly e x squared e to the fx only for upper limit 1, lower limit negative 1. So for this, it will be our function power plus 1 over new power. Then we evaluate this integral. We substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit then finally we evaluate how this value so make sure our final answer more than three significant figures So to score this 6 marks,
when we integrate this, we using the formula. So when we want to using the formula, we have to show it it have having this pattern. So this will be giving you one working. And then for the same concept here for the second function also using formula. So we show up it having the pattern. And then don't forget when we integrate negative one until three, we have changing function. So the first step state it the question correctly, which is negative one until one for this function, one until three for this function. So this is the first step. You have to state out your integration clearly for the lower limit until the upper limit. Then you are getting a mark to integrate it correctly then substitute upper limit and lower limit to show up we get this answer